All right, guys, here we go. Episode 32. Play the All-State Sugar Bowl. Play against Texas again. So back-to-back -back weeks, for, at least for me. Um, I played Texas to end the season. Gave them their first loss, and I play them again in the Sugar Bowl. My top player still heard Matthews Carrington. I think Stucky used to be up there, but I think he's a senior, so he's not there anymore. They got running back, defensive tackle, middle linebacker. I got a pretty good team. I mean, we we barely pulled it out last time. I think it was like 21 to like 10 or something like that. It was a really close game. So I get the ball start to the game, third and two right here. Seeing what they could do with it. I almost jumped the snap, not quite there. Little play action pass. Hits the guy across the middle. Breaks the tackle. A nice game. You see the flag at the bottom right. It kind of peaked up a little bit. They call the flag. Pass interference. And it is on the left guard. <laughs> the left guard had pass interference. I'll take that because they just got a humongous gain right there. So third and 12, replaying it. And seeing if we can have a different outcome because that, yeah, for sure would be better. Anyway, he throws it on the run. Washington just hops in front of it, picks it. Yeah, but it go the other way, go the other way. Dang it, ran into my own guy. Might have had a chance if I hadn't ran into him, but oh well. I got the pick. That's how you start the game, especially after a huge play. That yeah, left guard's going to be in trouble, I'm telling you. So we do, we're doing all right. Um, third and five. Can't really get the ball moving. Go with a, an audible. I'm going to throw my pass route. I'm going to hit Jones. I'm going to try to hit Jones on a jet. Because that's nobody's over the top. So that's the play I run. I try to throw it. It doesn't throw it. So I got to hit Stucky short. It's one of those. It's, I guess it's got to go through its own animation before it'll let me do it. So fall short of the first down, even though Jones was wide open. But that's how it goes sometimes. So we get on the board first, three to nothing. We took a lot of time off the clock for the little bit of time we had it, the little bit of distance we went, <laughs> which is good. But they, they they come right back, man. Third and two, uh, a little about halfway through the sec first quarter. And stop them just almost. No, oh, I thought I stopped them short. Not quite there. So first and ten. They breathed new life into it. He fought for a first down. And make, breaks a tackle. Miss with Massey. Another guy misses. And that guy is gone, dude. Uh, we catch him right through his goal line. But he breaks another tackle. 36-yard touchdown run when he should have got tackled for a loss. It's poor tackling. Poor tackling. So they take the lead 7-3. to three. And I'm, I'm fighting right back now. Into, to the end of almost the end of the first quarter. Make some hot route adjustments and I throw it into double coverage. Horrible play. Change to Jones. My lineman tried to dive and catch him, and it's a pick six. This game is not looking good for me at all. I mean, 14 to 3. We're not throwing the ball well. We're not running the ball. We're not doing anything. So towards the end of the first, we try a little screen pass and it gets smothered too. I mean, I don't I don't know what the heck to do, man. They're all over everything we're doing. <laughs> So second and 16 starts the second quarter. We're going with a little pass player. I said, forget this. We're going to do what we want to do. And I don't know what the safety and corner was doing, but they left Stucky wide open, my best receiver. So I hit him over the top. 49-yard touchdown pass to get back on the board. Three for five. 40, was it 49 yards? <laughs> I guess that sack takes off the yards. I don't know. But we get on the board finally. So we get the ball a little bit later. We're running up the middle with Stucky right up the gut. And he hits the 2,000-yard mark on the season i don't know if it's with him or as a team but we've rushed for 2,000 yards i'm going to say as a team on the season nice little thing so very next play we do a little read option hurry get some blocks downfield that guy runs into his own team almost step out of bounds to be towed down the sideline and my gosh heard busting a huge run down the sideline to take the lead 17 to 14. so we get the ball back a little later so our defense actually started doing something second and eight a little counter play trying to make something happen and don't go anywhere i mean there was more jerseys on that side of the field than our colored white jerseys and there were black jerseys so nothing there and this time they leave some nobody's covering jones again so i hot ride him i could have hit pretty much anybody on my team jones runs that guy over <laughs> steps into the end zone for a touchdown we just kind of extend our lead up by 10 now so at the end of the second quarter we're driving they punted it and we did use one of our timeouts trying to make something happen and A was wide open by Carrington in the tight end. So open for the touchdown. I just didn't have enough time to get rid of it. So four seconds left. We're just going to take the field goal, get our for sure points, and go up by 13, 27 to 14. So we're doing okay. Going into halftime, we're sitting pretty good, man. I mean, overall, we had a hard, hard first quarter. <laughs> Couldn't do anything. But after that, our second quarter was humongous. We put up a lot of points then. And looking at the stats-wise, I mean, we are absolutely destroying Texas right now. They only got 22 passing yards, got 87 rush, rushing yards. They've had the ball twice as long. They've got one less turnover. 
I mean, we're, we should be dominating this game, and we're actually up by pretty much two scores, which is a good thing. So in the third quarter, first play, Stucky breaks the tackle, almost breaks two. So we get four-yard gain out of that second and, second and six. We're trying to make something happen here. Go with the screen again. Hopefully it doesn't absolutely backfire. They're blitzing like everybody up the middle. So I got my linebackers, or my linebackers, my line downfield to help get the guys coming off the receivers. And it's off to the races. Nobody's even remotely close. Stucky dive into the end zone touchdown. School record for herd passing touchdowns in a season for 22. And Stucky, that's that Heisman winner right there. He's he's legit. He is legit, and I get him back next year. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm improving, hopefully, all around. So it's going to be very, very nice. And then we get the ball a little bit later into the into the third quarter. Or into the third quarter. A little horse collar tackle there. They don't call it. Or maybe you pull me down by my jersey. I don't know. Looks like a horse collar to me. I'm going to tackle just short. So first and goal. Do a little handoff to Stucky here. Who, oh, is stumbling, stumbling. Falls into the end zone touchdown. 50 touchdowns on the season as a team. My gosh, we're ranking in the points this game, which is what I wanted. <laughs> got to catch got to catch a tan with those stats, man. And then they're, they're not done yet. End of the fourth quarter, second and five. They fumble it, and we pick it up. Yeah, that way, Waller. Good job. Good job. That's their fourth turnover in the game. But the CPU challenges it. It was a coach challenge. It wasn't the, the ref challenge like it usually is. And it actually gets overturned. He was down completely. I mean, on the replay, no no doubt about it. So they get it back. Third and three. They're less than 50% on third down. Trying to keep it that way. Keep him in the end zone right here. And showing, showing a little blitz action, man to man. And he backs up and got all day a throw at Jefferson. I think that's actually... Uh, one of the Shipley brothers in, in real life, I'm pretty sure. Um, but he gets his, he's got his must, monster season. I think he had 12 touchdown receptions this season in the game. A little bit later, that should have been picked, but it wasn't right at the end of the game. So fourth fourth quarter, four seconds left. It's it's a ball game, man. We kicked a couple more field goals, but nothing really worth showing. And we, we get away with the win. We win the Sugar Bowl. We beat Texas for their second loss, second time of the season. I mean, they pretty much had a national championship locked up until they played us. That's that's all I'm saying. And uh, we beat them twice. Granted, I couldn't even play for the conference championship. <laughs> so that just shows how much harder the SEC is than the Big 12. That's what you get right there. Play of the games, that screen pass, of course. I mean, my gosh, dude, it couldn't have worked any better than that. Line getting downfield, receivers getting back downfield, getting blocks. And it's just a foot race, and nobody's going to catch anybody right there. Not gonna happen. <laughs> playmaker, playmaker. But our guys are happy. We in our season, but the guys that are seniors ended on a high note at the very least, playing in a BCS bowl. But we didn't get a national championship. None, none of the users did this year, which is surprising. But almost everybody had a loss, at least one. So we get away with the win. Heard was actually player of the game. 16, 23, 300 yards, seven carries, 70 yards, and four total touchdowns. That figures for sure, Stucky, but. Hurd pulls it out, has a great game. That's what we needed it. Clutch game and a clutch situation. We are the Sugar Bowl Classic champions. And Texas gets to go home with their heads held down. <laughs> so after that, looking at the stats, I mean, they were pretty even, only nine yards difference. We had almost double the passing yards as rushing yards. And we still almost hit 200 yards rushing. I mean, we absolutely tore it up this game, even with the two turnovers. Uh, players of the game, of course, Hurd. Then my safety Taylor, three tackles and a pick. We did pretty good, but we'll be we'll be right back whenever we advance it. So here we go. All right, guys, just got done showing the highlights from my Texas game. A lot different than the last time I played them. <laughs> I think I figured them out. That's for sure. I put a pretty good whooping on them. There are only two losses coming from me this year. See how everybody else did. Um, if you do notice, it says nine out of ten. Um, there was a, an issue with the Tennessee. Um, who was it? Tennessee. Uh, Penn State game um, they had connection issues I know Tennessee was having issues trying to connect to um, Ole Miss and like I said I was I was there so I, I watched it happen so Tennessee offered to be dropped from the dynasty so Penn State could play as a game and we'll re-invite him back so there is not an opening just a heads up there but it looks like Penn State didn't end up playing the game anyways so we're gonna leave it to the advance see how that works um, Tulsa ends up getting the win, 35-21. Texas Tech did not play their game. Um, he is one of the teams looking to switch schools. <laughs> um, I think there was three people that said, give me a potential list of schools. And then this uh, Texas Tech said, anywhere. So we, we will see what goes on there. 
Kentucky ends up getting the win, 29-23. Auburn wins, 42-20. Auburn, wow, Arkansas. <laughs> they can do that almost every week, man. UCLA gets the win, 33-28. East Carolina loses by one, wow, against South Carolina. Good game there, 17-16. Mississippi State wins, 21-14. Like I said, Penn State having issues with Tennessee and didn't play the game, so we'll leave it to the advance. UConn gets the win, 52-17, and Ole Miss gets the win, 48-21. So we're going to advance it, um, see how everybody ended up into this at the end of the season, and then we will call it quits for this year, man. This is year number two. We're getting to year number three. There won't be a video until we advance it to start the season, so... I'll, I'll record the highlights. I'll record what I can from the off season. Um, I'll record the preseason and we advance to week one. Will be whenever we get the first video. So that might be a, hopefully less than a week at most. A week I'm shooting for. It just depends on how fast we can get the coach carousel moving. Like I said, I got a list of people. Six people wanted to stay, so that's six people I don't have to worry about. <laughs> um, three people wanted potential schools. If they don't come up, then we're gonna skip past them. And then uh, ten, uh, Texas Tech wanted to go a different school, and other people I didn't hear from. So they get one day at the most, and if I don't, they don't make a choice, and we're going to skip past them. They're going to be forced to stick with their school. So we're going to advance it real quick, see how everybody ended off up for the, the end of the season, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, just got done with the last advance of the season that we're going to show um, after the bowl bowl week game. So see how everybody else did. I ended up being number five in the nation actually let's just go to top 25 just to see that um see who's all ranked and all that jazz notre dame ends up beating san diego state that's not a surprise by any means <laughs> um to end the season number one ucla gets two Ole miss three move up to to five connecticut number eight arkansas 12 penn state um i don't know if they won their game or not um, I guess we'll we'll do it this way. Team schedule: Tennessee. They lost to Tennessee, thirty, 30 to twenty-five. So, um, give them a chance to play this game, send them a message, and even kick Tennessee. So, sorry about that, buddy. Um, Mississippi State ends up getting nineteen, and nobody else, anybody else close. Kentucky almost ranked at the end of the season, not quite there. So, we had a couple of guys real close to being ranked at the end of the season. But we're we're good, man. Um, yeah, we're sitting pretty good. I'm excited to get to next year, see how we go. Um, like I said, almost everybody wants to stay or or is looking for a couple of the teams. I said two at max, so any of these two teams come up, there might be some shakeups across the players in the dynasty. But but we'll see. And just a heads up for the guys in the dynasty, um, uh, Auburn Tiger, the Arkansas. He's been doing his research. Also, he's one of the new guys that joined. And he let me know that the supposed fix is not at the coach carousel. It's going to be when the preseason starts. So what's going to happen is when we get to that stage, um, y'all, I guess I'll, I'll kick everybody or y'all just disconnect, <laughs> quit and rejoin in the preseason, not in the coach carousel. So pretty much once we're done with the entire off season and get into the preseason stage, then you rejoin then. So don't, don't quit yet. I'm going to invite Tennessee back. Um, don't quit yet because uh, you'll need the password for me to join but we won't do it until the preseason stage so if you want your coach xp you want your coach to hopefully level up just wait until the preseason stage so i'm going to send everybody a message in the dynasty also but that's how we end the season man pretty good all around season from everybody involved and pretty much everybody stayed active throughout the entire year so looking forward to it, man. Looking looking forward to it. But that's going to be it for this episode. This is going to be it for season 2014. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all next time.